YouTube, this is Puck. Many people ask me how I still get my 14 year old sound blaster live cards to work. I got some of them to work in Windows 7. And then, you know, I tell them about, you know, how I do it. Uh, just showing you that this is a Windows 7 system here. And this is a Sound Blaster Live 5.1 card created uh, somewhere in 1999. This card is not uh, supported anymore by Windows 7. There are only Windows XP drivers. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it to work. As you can hear, it plays just fine. Um, yeah, I have no great uh, good boxes for here, so I just connected the sound to the input of this um, yeah this cassette player it's a real old one still works fine it's a Tantberg Educational Audio Tutor 8771 this is an amazing thing with a great sound so you know I just get it some power so in fact the card works fine but how do I do it and what kind of software am I using? Well peeps, um, I didn't see many information about this on the internet so I thought I must make a video about it because it's such a waste to you know, let such a good sound card you know, die out for you on there that you must go and buy another one, some crappy cheap card you know. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Uh, you need you need to uh, get uh, KX, KX drivers and how to find KX drivers well I was at the site just now let me see if I, it's still in my memory KX project so KX uh, um, yeah these guys they create their own drivers and in fact I only went for this driver here this is the um, the 32-bit driver and the X64 driver both are out there for uh, the 5.1 and here you can see 2009 this is update this is the latest driver uh, created somewhere in 2009 and you know this thing works you know but how to get it to work so when you install this then uh, you will see that you have a little KK mixer or KX mixer there and here you can see the various stuff that you should check out for yourself. I did not go in there. I just went to um, here to my mixer device. And um, well, in fact, here I went for volume control options. Uh, oops. Playback devices. So I went in here. And then it selected one, but I could not get no sound out of this thing. So what I then did, I just went, uh, st stood on one and then hit a test. You see, and then it will test. Here, test. And the one that, you know, at a certain moment give the sound, that was uh, the right one. You see, this one is also giving sound. This one is also playing. See, but... I have the wave out four five selected and that one works just fine because I have a great sound here I just have to turn on the volume there you see and here I just turn it off so what you need is this driver it's called uh, the KX project so I want to you know thank these guys you know a million for creating these drivers uh, please subscribe to uh, this uh, channel if you think uh, they're great you know go up there leave them a little message you know uh, whatever support them cause thanks to them you know and not thanks to Sound Blaster or whoever you know only thanks to KX project you know it's possible to still run uh, old Sound Blaster 5.1 card the best card of the 90s i think at the end of the 90s created by sound blaster creative but not supported anymore for uh, windows vista windows 7 <laughs> and don't even talk about windows 8 this was my video peeps if you think this video was cool please like it and subscribe to my channel and till my next video bye bye music